Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is part four of my 1977 Mark II Capri X-Pack build with a 1.8T 20 valve turbo from an Audi Volkswagen type thing. Um, yes, I know in the last couple of episodes that I have said that this thing is going to blasting or it should have been blasted and it really should have been blasted. But uh, yeah, one thing after another, haven't got around to it just yet. So in this one, I think I'm just going to start Stripping down the metalwork in the engine bay, taking the headlight washer bottle off, the battery tray off, uh, cleaning all the tabs off, starting to shave the engine bay. I'm going to possibly tackle the strut top repair. We'll see how we get on. Um, it's not lining up that nicely, so I'm not entirely certain if this is even a good panel or if it's bent or what, but we'll have a look at that in a little bit. Um, yeah. Long story short, wife is about to pop in a few weeks time with a child, not just popping, and yeah, I, I'm trying to get a bit of progress done before that happens and I'm inevitably changing nappies. Start with taking these under roll bar brackets off. I always try and put the bolts back through things and whenever they're refurbed then I'm ready to put back on you know exactly where they went although by this stage I know pretty much where every bolt on the Capri goes just by looking at it but yeah Imagine there's probably better ways to do it, but I don't have a spot wheel chisel, so.
Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just the top lip to go now, hopefully. Ben, can you give me the face shield? What? Give me the give me that yellow thing off the bench, please. No, on the wee bench, see it? Other side of the bag, keep going. The yellow thing. Yeah, give me that. Why? Because I need it. Right. Thank you, darling. Bye. Bye, buddy. Might be safer just slipping this with the grinder and then I can get in at it easier with the spot or with the uh, spot wheel drill. I was trying to save it though if I could. Where can you see those from the back, those welds? <sighs> Not really. So, uh, I forgot that the camera was in slow-mo for this somehow, so I have some glorious slow-mo footage of me absolutely destroying this car with an air chisel. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, what's the chances of this just coming off with the air chisel without wrecking the inner wing? Slim to none. But, you know. Unorthodox, and I know I have a load of work to do to fix the inner wing, but nonetheless, I couldn't get a drill on it, so yeah. Okay, so that's both of those out. A wee bit of work to do, not too bad, to fix some of the holes where the spot welds were on the inner wing. Um, I might tackle this mess next, or at least try and cut it off because there's about four layers there when there should be, I think, two. There should be the reinforcement plate and the top plate. So yes, so that's that off, and the battery tray off. It came off quite nicely, actually, considering I couldn't actually get out the spot wells to drill them properly. Um, so yeah, there's no actual rust that I can see in behind it. Most of the time, they seem to rot out along this lip here, and then that means that they go on. The strengthener plate seems to go a lot as well, seems to bubble out. There's no bubbles in this at all, so hopefully I've got away with it. Um, you can see here, 
can see daylight through that. <laughs> so I need a set of these strengtheners. Um, so I might order those up and get this whole inner wing area just finished. I can sort of work away at this without it being blasted. Um, yeah, it's all fairly clean there now. So yes, I think I'm maybe attempt to unpick these welds from around this and get this top plate off. It looks to be a homemade repair panel by the looks of it. Um, and yeah, let's see just how bad this is on the <laughs> That's what was hiding underneath. A whole lot of sort of nothing really. Just patched over it. Um, this panel, as I said before, doesn't seem to line up. It seems to be that, well, it might just be bent in or something, but as you can see where it fits here, uh, it's nowhere near there. <laughs> might end up just cutting, slitting along here because it's sticking out here still loads of room, it's just this wee bit so I might just try and hammer it out or slit this or something and work it out later I need to see where it's going to fit to see where I'm going to have to cut I think I'll probably just, I'm going to try and avoid the chassis number obviously because yeah, it goes to the wee star here so I'm gonna probably end up cutting this here off somewhere here anyway, so that might let me away. But in the meantime, I'll probably hammer this out or slit it, as I said before. I'll see where it sits, um, because it's not right at all where it's at at the moment. Ideally, if money wasn't an object, I would just buy the whole top plate from Express. But um, yeah, this is my own car, not a customer car, so I'm the one footing the bill for the panels, and I can't really afford it at the moment. So yeah. That side, thankfully, looks spot on. A wee bit at the end there, where the wing reel comes down. But in all fairness, it's the headlight bucket area and the strut top. The rest of it's actually pretty good, this inner wing. Um, so yeah, let's dig a little bit more into this and see what we've got to do with. Got no class, all attributes.
Okay, so while the camera charged a wee bit, I cracked on a little bit. Um, I have cut this corner, however it went in, I don't really know, but I've cut this basically out of this repair panel that has let it in enough to sit where it needs to be, I think. I have since then um, put a couple of pairs of vice grips on, got this roughly where it needs to sit. Obviously it's nowhere near it yet, um, but I'm just putting some bolts down through so that I know that the holes line up at least, then I can try and see just how bad the fitment is gonna end up. Again, this is not final fitment, obviously. I still have to fix the underneath of the tower and stuff in underneath there, but I just want to see if this panel is actually going to do me or what, and where I need to cut it to make it work. this out in a bit of cardboard and get our CAD design done for the replacement piece. Okay, one template. Okay. Here's my wee piece that I've made now. Well, not made, template. So, it's not bad. I shall cut it out to this size because it's a wee bit oversized. It's just overlapping at this end. Um, and then whenever I have the steel in, I can buff the steel down perfectly to get it to fit and we'll get it sizzled in. Okay, so the microphone died at this stage, but this is a new piece all sizzled in. Um, I'm actually quite happy with how that turned out. Left the inside there where I'm pointing at now all just basically a proud so that whenever I put the outer skin on, I can buff the whole thing down and make it nice and round as my nice gestures have sort of alluded to. So. Next stage, I think, is to buff all that down and get the outer panel set on top. So that will probably be next. I'm not entirely sure how many clips the microphone died for at this stage in editing, so I might go back in a minute. Okay, that's it all sorted. I hope <laughs> just start welding this thing in. I think the plan is to try and get this thing tacked a couple of key places around it. Then move my way in here, tack it along here, and then fully weld it in. 99.9% um, .9 sure I can get my spot welder to those. Might be at a wee bit of an angle, but it should go in. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, disclaimer, it did not work. It didn't work one bit. Right, so that did not go to plan. The spot welder I don't have much confidence in, so I'm going to drill a couple of holes with the spot weld drill bit. And plug them. better. Right, so finished up and brushed up etc because it was just getting into an absolute state. 
that's it all welded in. Not perfect by any means, but heck of a lot better than what was there. And um, so the holes obviously in this here, can't remember if I showed you or not, they were oval so you can get the position of it right. Um, so whenever I had it all in and plug welded and everything, I welded up the ovals and re-sorted the holes out again. So all that's left now is to give this a coat of epoxy. So I've been using this stuff here for a while and it is quite nice. So I had a wee dig with this here and show you the results. So that is it all sizzled in and primed. Um, it will need filler down here where it was hammered into fit. Um, but not too worried about that. A wee quick skim of filler, it is solid. It's not as if I'm covering up rust. So one inner wing strut top done. This one has a patch on it. So I'm gonna assume that it needs the same done with the inner in here that I've done over there. So I'll probably just cut this out tomorrow, see what it's like on the inner, make a wee patch, set it in. That's hopefully that side done. Um, yeah, unsure what to tackle next. I know up in there, needs done on both sides. So I might start up in there. But yes, you'll have to wait and find out. Just as I will. <laughs> anyway, it is now nearly 20 to 11. So I am going in and I shall catch up with you tomorrow. Bye. Might do this next because it's annoying me looking at it every time I walk past it. And um, there's a couple of layers going on here. There's the inner wing top, which comes the whole way down here. The slam panel, I believe, goes on top of it and the headlight bucket's underneath it. This is going to be a wee bit of a challenge, plus the added thing that the Mark II has this on it, and we can't see it that well from that angle, but it has this raised bit here, which I'm going to try and keep. We say it better here. Um, so yeah, it's not rotten here, thankfully. Well, it doesn't seem to me anyway. It seems to be just confined to this, where the headlight bucket sort of is, or was attached at some point there. So I might try and cut this here someplace and see about getting it unpicked in behind this because I can assume that yeah, it's probably not great up in there. Um, unsure if it's going to still retain the same bumps and humps <laughs> at the corner here. Um, the wing reel usually comes down here somewhere to meet it. Um, so yeah. This one's already had a butchered on wing reel by the looks of it. But yeah, I'll see how we get on. This might just end up flat. Right, no idea which way this all comes together, but I'm going to start by at least picking out the spot wells along the rusty edge here in the hope that that lets me then cut the headlight bucket away underneath and leave this on top, clean it up from the underneath, possibly then replace these wee bits that are pitted and yeah let's just wing it and go from there. Do I need to go that far? Don't think I do. Okay. I think I need to buy myself a proper spot well chisel because the air hammer is just a wee bit brutal. Okay. Let's move 
mostly separated. That was relatively successful. So I can then at least have a look in underneath and see how bad it is in there. I definitely need to replace this wee end piece because it's all rotten and then work out what way like I assume this comes on down and end and goes here or something. I, I really don't know. I need to look up pictures. So that's not good. Better. So things escalated slightly as per usual and um, this is just pried up it does vice grip back down nicely and um, but I had a look in there Don't if you can see it that well let's see it's cleaned up okay uh, focus so it's cleaned up quite nicely in there it's actually good solid steel same within there a wee bit of surface so I'm gonna clean all that up in there um, and we'll probably put a coat of copper weld through primer in between the two skins just before I spot weld it all back together I need then to start making from here so this piece here all needs made so that's probably gonna be next I'm gonna try and maybe cut it here someplace um, and cut it here and yeah, let's just try and do something to make this look like something. Obviously, this is all going to be in behind the wing. I'm not too fussed on what it looks like, so as long as it's nice and neat, I don't care about it being OEM spec or whatever. Um, in fact, it might be being modified slightly anyway, because from memory, the Mark III headlight bowls are bigger than a Mark II, and you can't actually get twin headlights properly into these I think somebody will correct me if I'm wrong in the comments of course but from memory these are too shallow they actually slope in because of the square headlight you can see what you're doing these actually slope in more than the Mark III ones which have more of a dish to them so yeah so that's this all cut out um, and I have fairly complex shape to make. Might be simplified by losing this hump, as said before. Uh, but I'll have a go at it and see. Let me make it in a few different stages and weld it together. So I'm going to leave that video here. I have 
cut this out, this is on the last clip there. Um, I need to start working out how I'm going to form the panels. I have a bead ruler, a friend of mine's lent me a bead ruler. So we'll get that sorted and try and learn how to make some complex shapes. I've always wanted to try and learn it instead of just buying stuff, so let's have a go in the next episode. Um, I'm going to leave that one here as I said, mainly because I've run out of time. It is now Thursday, yeah, Thursday evening. Um, I need to have this edited by Friday evening to go up on Saturday morning. So, yeah, out of time. And uh, I've been sort of busy. If you have a wee look behind this car, that might give you an indication of something else that's coming up. <laughs> I need help, psychological help. But yeah, these two, both of them were acquired over a year ago now so just finally getting moved into this unit and getting started this just say and i'll introduce that one in the next video that goes up on the channel with my plans for it phase one phase two all that carry on so if you want to see what's coming up the other car back there do hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything it helps me out immensely if you hit the like button comment on it just any interaction boosts it up the watch page or the home page whatever you want to call it now on youtube and it puts it out to more people and more new viewers etc etc so yes without any further ado i will leave you there and catch up in hopefully another two weeks time if i haven't had a baby by then <laughs> if i have i'll get it out whenever i can so all the best and i'll see you soon bye